What is up guys? Alan aka NeoCrypto here and I wanted to show you guys my little drill ship that I've designed uh, which seems to be probably <laughs> at least uh, of the ones I've played with a really really good drill ship even though it doesn't look like much <laughs> you, it, uh, the way it handles is very smooth very stable and well you know what I, I think it speaks for itself so let's go ahead get in power this thing up and let's just uh, go into third person view so and raise up to max hover height so first off you can do this you can tilt yourself down and completely let go of the mouse which is great same thing with tilting yourself for this you know up which is really good for when you're you know drilling it into tunnels and creating windy passages or you know you manage to drill yourself into a bad spot it's only got two drills on the front but this thing just chugs right along. It's very smooth, very stable. I'm not holding O or anything like that, so you can see exactly how it, you know, maneuvers. It's not the fastest in the world, but it's very, very stable, very light, and very cheap to produce. As a matter of fact, let's uh, let's go down. Let's drill down. Shall we? Yeah, I think we shall. As you can see, the mule, which is what I call it, is, um, well, <laughs> just chugging right along and we're about ready to break into another cave, which could potentially be a problem for some drill chips. But this one, you know, it just whoop, continue right along. The secret to this is the, uh, I have the center of mass. Whoop, now we're getting a little bit wonky, but. Obviously, we're in a area that I drilled with my other ship. So let's go ahead and hit O. So we'll ride ourselves up. Cool. And just continue on our merry way. Angling down again. The secret to this is the center of mass is actually lined up with the center of the ship. So it works out really well. And I have a single hover engine in the center of the ship. Which allows it a greater freedom of movement. Pivot up, pivot down do whatever you want now when you're flying in normal use scenario like you're you know going from point a to point b over mountains and stuff it can get a little bit squirrely uh because of the you know single hover engine but it can make it over mountains just fine i've had no problem with that uh occasionally when coming down it will tip over a bit but you know quick press of the o button and that problem is solved so now we've drilled down quite a bit and we're continuing forward just a little ways I drilled into the tunnel that I'd already dug with this thing, apparently. Yep. <laughs> like I said, it can get a little bit squirrely when doing uh, regular, you know, regular driving around. Now, this is an open air cockpit model that, you know, designed for, well, obviously, planets with an atmosphere. Mm hmm. We, even though it's really squirrely, it's kind of fun to flip it over. To be fair. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me uh, cover up. Okay, we're good. So let's take a look at this thing. So we've got two docking pads here. Obviously, only one is really necessary, but to keep the balance right. I want to do that. And then we have a single hover engine there, a booster there in case you really need to jump. Uh, obviously, the core is exposed, so this is not for PvP in the slightest. And we have a light there, which really isn't doing that much good, uh, though it with the little red lights I have on it you can see pretty much everywhere when you're drilling um, but yeah overall this thing works exceptionally well I have the uh, cargo 
hidden back underneath these blocks. So the only way you can access that, obviously, is to go in here, go to your harvester group, and then, you know, hit access. And then we just see a lot of stone that I just drilled. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I am putting this up on the workshop. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the requirements real quick before I cut this out. But here we go. The GS01 mule. 300 iron, 140 copper, 110 cobalt, 80 silicon, and level 10 unlock with a 10, well, with my settings, a 10 minute build time. Uh, so that might, the build time might vary, but overall, she is a, I, I'm pretty impressed with the way she handles, like I said, she doesn't look very nice, very cool. If you guys download this and uh, decide to mess around with the paint job and see what you can do to uh, make it look a little better, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. I'm also working on pretty much a carbon copy of it over here, uh, but with a closed cockpit for like, you know, Omicron and the moon and whatnot. Uh, it doesn't hover quite, or it doesn't handle quite the same because of the added O2 and, uh, you know, the larger cockpit. But I, before I put that up on the workshop, I'm going to try and get that, uh, get that sorted out and get it working and up to snuff. Uh, I'd love to, I might widen the base out on this one on the back so we can add, like, say, uh, a turret or something for protection on it. So this could be more of a hostile mining ship anyway guys that is all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed and uh hopefully you'll hop on the imperium workshop give this thing a try and let me know what you guys think anyway until uh until next time this is neo and i'll see you in game